story in the world that Jesus said, after this manner, all who follow me should pray in this way. Do you all know what it is? Did you know that he didn't ask us to repeat that prayer? He said, follow this pattern after this manner. Did you know that the Lord's Prayer is actually a beautiful framework? It starts out, well, let's just say the first line, okay? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Stop. Do you know what that just was? All prayer is supposed to start out by focusing on who God is. He's our Father, he's in heaven, and he is hallowed. Then, the second part of the prayer is what Martin Luther called the terrible petition. Anybody know what the next line is? Thy kingdom come. Now the first part is saying, I want to focus on who you are. Do you know what the second petition is? Thy kingdom come? It's saying, God, I want you to control me. That's why Martin Luther said it's terrible. He said, do you understand that if you ask God to control you, he's going to change your life? So the Lord's Prayer is, focus me, God, on who you are. Let your kingdom come in my life, thy kingdom come. What's the third petition? Thy will be done. Do you know what that is? I want you to lead me. That's asking God to lead me. I want your will. I want to follow you. Okay? Then the middle, there are only seven petitions, so there's three. Focus me, control me, lead me. What's the middle petition? Give us this day our daily bread. What's that? Supply me. You notice it's in the middle. Do you notice that we don't ask God for stuff until we first have focused on who he is, worshipped him, surrendered to him, and said, I want to do your will. That's why Jesus said, anything you ask my name, I'll do. You don't ask until you get to the middle of the prayer. After you've already focused on God, submitted to him, and followed him, then he will give you everything that you pray for. But most people don't want to submit and follow and do all that. They just want to say, I want this. I want this job or this grade or this person or whatever. Then the last three are fascinating. It says, forgive us. Do you all know that? Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. What is that? That's cleanse me, Lord. I don't want to have any unconfessed, unforsaken, broken relationships, no sins in my life. Cleanse me. And then the next petition, number six is, and lead us you all know that? And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. What's that? Protect me. Protect me. Protect me from temptation. Protect me from the evil one, Satan. Do you see why the Lord's Prayer isn't something that a billion and a half people mumble every time they go to Mass? And Christians just kind of can go through it and don't even think about it. It's actually inviting God to focus me on who he is, to control my life, to lead me through life, as he's leading me, supply me, cleanse me constantly so I don't grieve him, protect me, and then what's the ending of the Lord's Prayer? For thine, what, is the kingdom and the power forever, amen. Do you know what that one is? That's the best part of the prayer. The ending, the seventh petition, is the best. It basically is empty me so you get all the glory. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory. It's not about me. It's not what I want. It's not whether I enjoy life or not. It's whether you are magnified. So empty me. It's kind of like saying I want to be humble before you. So with that in mind, let's pray the prayer. Everybody, you ready? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever.